beef stroganoff. It is a dish that I really enjoy. The sauce is really good and I can eat it in the summer and for the colder spring days or the autumn when it's already becoming more and more cold. It's really good as well. It's not as hearty or savory as a normal other stoops. However, it is still really filling and it does really good the job. So I am still talking. Let's start cooking. So I start off with cutting the beef into nice pieces that makes it a little bit easier. And I fry them first in some butter for a nice air on the outside. And once that is done, I put it on the side in a bowl because we're going to need it in a little bit later on. Now in that same pot I will or pan I will first start off with chopping uh, two onions and uh, two cloves of garlic. If you want to see more of the recipe, look down in the link below. I will leave a link to where my recipe is at. But I will f back to the video. I will fry the onions and then until it's transcendent, and then add some mushrooms that I thinly slice as well and fry everything until most of the mushrooms have lost all their water. Once all the mushroom has lost the water, I move it to a bigger pot. And that is because now we will create, er, put everything together. What will happen is like, I put everything in there, the mushrooms, the onions, and I add the meat as well. And then I add the tomato paste or the tomato puree. Sour and desour that a little bit. So fry it for one, two minutes before I will be adding the flour which I will be frying as well, about two, three minutes as well, to make sure it's not raw anymore. And then I will add water or beef broth so that everything gets cooked. The flour will dissolve, the tomato paste will dissolve in anything. So I stir it a little bit and then I will just boil it, reduce the sauce or reduce the water amount so that it gets thicker. Once it's halfway, since I reduced it for half, I will add the cream, which yes, sure, it will create a little bit more mass, 
But all I need to do now is reduce it again until I enjoy the thickness or has the thickness that I would like. That was it, or at least that was the stroganoff. You can serve it now with cooked rice or noodles if you want. But my personal favorite with this is mashed potatoes. So if you want to stick around, please enjoy. The next part will be all about, or I will show you a quick version of how I made the mashed potatoes while all the sauce is still reducing. So it's ready about the same time. And if you want to add some extra veggies, um, my suggestion or what I did was just fry some paprika and carrot just extra on the side so that you can garnish it on top so that it doesn't get all too mushy while you reduce it for like half an hour or an hour. But that's it for now. I hope you have a nice day. And if you like the video, don't forget to subscribe. I really appreciate it. Have a nice day.